three things you're doing that damage your confidence. A lot of people have problems with their self-confidence and don't feel quite as pleased about who they are as maybe they should. We've all had those days where we feel a bit worthless and we've all had interactions with people where we felt like we don't belong or weren't as impressive somehow as the others in the group. And often we feel like victims for this reason. We feel as though we've been dealt a bad hand to have such low self-esteem. But guess what? You might also be somewhat responsible. Not only is it your responsibility to dig yourself out of that pit, but you might also be the one who put yourself there in the first place. In this presentation, we'll cover three things that you're doing that damage your self-esteem. Replaying uncomfortable experiences. When someone says something cruel about you, how do you react? Many of us respond by replaying what they've said in our heads over and over again. And we do the same thing when we trip over and embarrass ourselves in public. And we do the same thing when we've had a bad date or a bad interview. You get the point. While it's useful to replay these events to look for things we could do better, it becomes destructive if we do this over and over, and you end up cementing certain neural pathways. So, have a debrief, then move on. Being too polite and humble. It's nice to be polite and humble to some extent, but there becomes a point where it actually just amounts to putting yourself down. If you're constantly humble, then you are positioning yourself below others, and eventually you start to believe that's where you should be, and so do other people. Playing it safe. Essentially, a lack of confidence comes down to fear. Usually, this means a fear of getting it wrong. The only way to get over that fear is to prove to yourself that it's unfounded. How? By facing that fear. And that means getting out of your comfort zone and taking risks. If you're shy of social situations, then put yourself out there and speak to people. If you're unconfident in doing DIY, then grab that drill and start getting to work. This takes courage, and ultimately, courage is the number one tool for vanquishing a lack of confidence.